What's up? Welcome. Day 547. Well, episode 547, make it songbringer. Um, yeah, we're in a wizard costume today, but today I have the added bonus of some kung fu arm buy-in thingies that my lady helped me make. Pretty stoked about these. So the wizard foo is complete. Uh, today I'm working on the wall boss some more, and let's look at him as he is right now. I got it so you can push you back a room, which is super exciting, and his laser beam attack is cool, so that adds a lot of dimension. I'm also going to make it uh, so his um, he can spawn these little fear guys. Is these guys on the on the wall over here? I want those to be able to spawn more. He'll, he can like just spawn lots of them. So he'll spawn them really close to him anyways. Wherever you are, they'll spawn and boom. Be a lot more dynamic that way and smart. And so in case like, for example, if you kill all the little, these little guys, um, there could be more of them. So he will be able to push me into the next room. Let's speed up time a little bit. Let's watch that happen. Okay, but there's some problems. Um, so after he pushes you into the next room, and then you kill him there, the problem is, oh, this, you can get trapped here. That would suck. So anyways, if I kill him here, yeah, for some reason he just doesn't die that quickly. Oh, it could be because we're not in a boss room. There we go. So the problem is here, he dies in this room, and because the, the way the game saves the information about um, bosses and enemies dying, if I go back into this room, he's still there. So that's the bug I'm fixing right now. What's up, Pedro? GDC was really, really great. What's up, Salad? Yeah, Pedro's GDC was really awesome. Um, a lot of people got to play Songbringer. I got to demo it at um, this event called The Mix, which had a whole bunch of um, press. And it was a bunch of other mini indie games presenting their games. It was jam-packed. And I got to be on this live stream with Danny O'Dwyer. Um, and talk about Songbringer a little bit. And then the next day I got to be at Microsoft's ID at Xbox event. It's called The Loft. And it was just a showcase of like, I was really lucky to be at both of those events. Like just, you know, both of them had like maybe 30 to 40 different developers, each one. And then the, the rest of the event was great. I got to go to the expo. I got to see the award ceremony. So I got to see the indie um, games festivals award ceremony and also the, the uh, game developers choice awards. So that was great. And then the next day I got to go just have fun and explore the whole expo, which was sweet. Lots of, lots of games there. Thanks, Die Harders and Metrius. How have you been, Pedro? How's the new um how's the new job? Or have you have you started that? Yeah, man, you should come out. You'll definitely, you can find a job that way, that's for sure. You got a puppy? Oh, it's great. What kind? Oh, and you'll be participating in a robotics competition? 
Thanks, Wolfrock. Cool. Awesome. When, when's that going to be? Oh, right on. Yeah. Nice, man. That's great. That's so good to hear. Wow, congratulations. That's a lot of good news. Oh, it has infrared, detects the walls. Wow. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> nice, can't complain. What's up, Arcane? Oh yeah, full wizard, and now I got the foo. Boom! These like kung fu armbands. My lady helped me make them, so it's like a full wizard foo thing attire, you could say. Okay, so this is the code we need. After it, after it, you defeat the boss, it determines if it's one of the bosses that can move between areas and then destroys it. And it needs to mark the area that it came from. which means position components, when they start, they need a spawn pause that is invalid. Yeah, I can. I can, yeah, just um, let me, uh, let me get this one little bit of code written and I'll, I'll definitely be showing it. There we go. Nice. Which part are you working on? Nice. What's up, bloody mustache? Welcome to the stream. This is C++, man. Right on. <clears throat> okay, so back to health system. And all right, so um, once we have gotten, once an enemy, once a boss that like is defeated that has um, Game scene is free id. Id. Okay, so if this was a free id, basically we need to destroy the free id. Do 
destroy. Or actually, is it destroy now? I don't know. And then we also need to peek into area, area, f dot position dot spawn pause. And then save the name for F. How do you learn C++? I would recommend starting with C, not C++. Um, if I were you, I would check out this great book called Learn C the Hard Way. What's up, Pete and Wally? Ah, and this is Is Boss True? So save name should, um, what does it do? It takes away the name. If it's dead, it, right, it saves it as dead. Wait, is that? Yeah, I think that's right. When you want to learn C++, you will get to that point and you'll figure it out, man. I definitely recommend learning with C first. <laughs> learn to think like the computer hates you because it does? What are you talking about? Oh, man. Oh, is that how, is that, how that book starts? Oh, <laughs> uh, for real? <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice this. Did they change this? Man. I've I've heard some great things about Breath of the Wild. Have you checked it out? What's up, Dummy Killer? Yeah, it's not wrong. It's not wrong, but is it right? Is it always right? You know what I mean? Okay, and this is still a free EID, so it's not going to be able to save it. Ah, oh, I wanted to save. Hmm. Oh yeah, me neither. I don't want spoilers, but I've heard it's a great game. <laughs> yeah, you are? That's a good idea. Get a Switch, sell it when you're done. I wish I had that kind of cash laying around. I don't really have much extra cash to be able to spend on stuff, especially with taxes coming up. I gotta save up for taxes. This should definitely be if it's not invalid. Or if it's valid. Save the name, but we ah, this isn't gonna work because it's a free EID. Oh, oh, I guess it could just save, it could destroy the entity now. Let's see what this does. Destroy now. Int. 
Ooh, int destroy now is what we need to use, not not the other one. Int destroy now does the attack component, the position component, and then goes entity destroy now. Ah, he looks awesome. <laughs> That's cool, Pedro. Oh, you don't have the cash either? Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, it's not destroyed now. I want to use um, entities or game scenes. Destroy any id. That's it. Game scene. Destroy any id. That schedules something. So we need to schedule something else. <laughs> Schedule after update. We need to capture the id. And by this point, it should it shouldn't be um, a free edit anymore. So it should be able to actually save this name. Okay, let's just see if it works. All right, so what I gotta do is let the boss push me back into the next room and then kill him. And then it'll hit this break point and we'll see if it actually works where it saves the boss as being dead in the other room. Can't die along the way. Ah, oh, I think this ruined it.
Okay, never hit that breakpoint or that breakpoint, but it somehow didn't get him to cross the line. What happened here? That time it worked. That's not worrisome at all. Okay, so now he's in this other room. Let's just kill him as fast as I can. Nice, okay, so it's just gonna destroy the Eid. In fact, let's make sure that works. If remove free Eid. And now the free Eid size is zero. Good. Okay, so it can schedule to remove this entity. Okay, that part works. And then, hey, cool, this after schedule update works, it seems like. Where, if it, does this guy have his spawn pause correct? Oh, nope. Didn't have a spawn pause. Oh, because the entity's already been deleted. Oh. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Destroy any Ian. Removes the free Ian right then. Oh, okay. This is how we do it. Destroy any Ian removes um, free Ian. So we can immediately just do, the, oh. Nice. I hope the games feel pretty distinct though. In my mind, Songbringer and Hyperlight Drifter are a lot, a lot different in their gameplay. They're very similar in like their aesthetic and stuff. You know, they're both pixel art, they're both sci-fi, they're both Zelda inspired games. But in the gameplay, to me, feels a lot different. Uh, no, it's always been in there, but it only triggers if it, if you can, if you stop and you're still. So that's why you don't see it that much, that picking up animation. Okay, so we don't need any of this code. This can just be F. Okay, hopefully this time it works. I don't know what was that. There was that one time where it didn't, he didn't move across the line. It's like he got destroyed up in the other area or something. Okay. 
Okay, cool. He's still with us. Yeah. Also, there's a big difference between how um, Hyperlight Drifter gives you the map. They just give you the whole map. And Songbringer is, a, is a, like doesn't give you a map, you know. You have items which you can use which can fill in parts of the map, but it's a totally different style of game. Like, Hyperlight Drifter isn't as much about exploration. It's more about, you know, completing, I don't know, I, I don't know how to exactly say it, but Songbringer is definitely a lot more about exploration and allowing you to explore and allowing you to do things out of order, stuff like that. Yeah, they feel similar. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Right, yeah, they're very similar games overall, though. Okay, what do we got for free eids? We got one of them. That guy. If we remove the free eid, and we should. Yep, that's gone. Nice, and it schedules to remove the eid later. But now this F should still be okay. It hasn't removed the entity just yet, so it's position.pause. Or, I mean, spawn pause. Yeah, it's still good. So he spawned at 647. Yes. <laughs> this discussion will probably be had so many times. I'm going to be uh, constantly, people will come up to me and compare it to that game, you know, or compare the games. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. They're, but, oh my gosh, I know. Hyperlight Drifter is an amazing game. One of the most beautiful like games I've played in probably forever. Actually, one of my top. I think I would say that Hyperlight Drifter is one of my top most favorite art in any video game I've ever played. It's so good. The art is amazing. Okay, let's watch this bit happen where it marks the this should go back to the area that the boss came from and mark it mark him as being defeated now good it has the name and it shouldn't be yeah nice we got past the free e at that time okay so this thing's um names what are those Oh, no, 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 I don't mean that it's brought up a lot. I'm just saying that... No, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Because, like, the only time it ever is a bad thing is if somebody's comparing the two games and, and, and meaning it in a negative way. I know you don't mean it in a negative way. I agree. We do need more games in this genre. Oh, you like the music. That's cool. They do an amazing job of that, huh? I like how when you get close to things, the music gets, like, the ambience and the music changes. That's a really cool th part about Hyperlight Drifter. Okay, what do we got for names? Names is... Got one name. What's the seer? Oh, this is only one of them. Oh, this doesn't seem right. What area is this? It is. I know, right? 
I gotta replay it just so just to hear all the music again. And see all the awesome art again. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> okay, what is this that's going to say? Fear boss, dead boss. Wait, wait, after it added minus one to the names. I just didn't add anything. That's cool. Oh, still names just says zero. That's weird. Okay, let's see if this worked. And then this code I need to get a little better. Nice! Oh, it worked! He's not in here anymore. But the music started again. And what's this guy doing down here? Oh, and it even locked me in the boss room. Oh, because there's these guys. So the music needs to change, but this is a little more important. This part is got to get the area. Save the name and also log the names. So Okay, now this could be actually, a, it could be a, um, its own method.
Okay, so now we got some code in place that destroys free eids. Also, this can be applied in the generic on foe death. If it's a free eid, destroy it. Okay, so now we've got that in place. Now, any kind of enemy, any kind of enemy in the whole game could be something that moves from one area to another and destroys themselves in the area that they came from once they're finally dead. So it kind of applies to this boss only at this point, but it's nice to have it for other enemies in case I want to have an enemy that can go between areas. So let's see if this still works. Oh, one more thing. I want to make it so when it dis when we hurt the boss with the that um the debug shortcut, it hurts him more. Why is he not being hurt so much? Is it input system? Oh yeah, flag boss or before boss. Okay, so we should have the same same results this time. We should be able to kill the boss. Oh, I should also take away the life container. Oh. oh, wait, and the other thing. This is supposed to be false, it's not a boss. And on foe death. Oh. Oh, it's a dot save name. Duh. Oh, crash would crash. She crashing for what happened? Trying to schedule after update within an after update. Which means it was doing this. Oh, we need to be not do boss explosion. Ah, okay, so yeah, don't do this destroy free Ian. Which one's this? Oh, the hanged man theme. Oh, this one. This one would give me nightmares. I, I, I fought the hanged man for a straight for like an hour and a half or two hours. Something crazy before I, I finally gave up and tried again the next day. <laughs> that guy was really hard for me.
I played it during the first week it was out, though. I think they changed a few things since then, so I'm not sure if the game's a little easier now. It must be. It's got to be, because otherwise my ego would be in trouble. Oh, son of a bitch. What happened? What? What is this? Oh yeah, you went straight to him first? Damn, that must have been really hard. What is going on here? Yeah, that's what I heard. And oh, and now it's 60 frames a second. They You can run it at 60. Back then it was only 30. I bet the game's a lot, a lot like smoother at 60, man. I gotta play it again. Okay, I don't know what, what the hell is... Hmm. This is in behavior remove. We're just removing the collision component from something. Ah, I don't know what that was. Oh, but after Dark Souls, there's nothing that hard. Yeah. Check that out. Plock, huh? Yeah, 40% off. That's great. Dang. <sighs> What's that? Uh, it must have been one of the code I just wrote that caused this bad little bug right there. Oh, oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. I think I know what it might be. This one. Let's set a breakpoint there. See if that ever happens. Hmm. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, that's probably a lot a lot of what that what it was. Any game, if you design your game to really only work at one frame rate, it's gonna be really difficult to get it to run in another. You kinda gotta start from the ground up, because you test everything. You know, you test everything and you test the entire game and it runs all great at 30, but then you have to go once you change it and it can run at 60, you're like, okay, great, I can get it running, but can I actually do I have to go test the entire game again? Yes, you do. You have to go test the entire video game again. So you might as well just design it from the beginning with a flexible frame rate. So you don't have to worry about that. Time it didn't crash. It didn't even hit that break point. Just 
still got these guys though. And the life container is not coming down. Oh, maybe because these guys are still here. Okay, there. They come down now. Okay, so we gotta get those guys to spawn now, the, the guys on the wall, sides of the walls. Yeah. Okay, we're getting a call from on boss death. Whoa, really? Oh, dang. Wow. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Lower res, huh? It'd be a nice option, right? If there was an option, like, okay, play at a lower res, but make sure it's 60. Okay, so there's one little problem, and all these little sears get... Well, okay, this is going to be solved once we make them. Um, once they're spawn entities. Oh, it needs to mark the bosses defeated as well. Yeah, hopefully it does. Oh, really? That's 
cool. Have you guys, um, has anybody played Horizon Zero Dawn yet? Oh, there's performance mode, cinematic mode. Oh, that's cool. It's a good way to do it, right? So your, your option is fast or huge pixels, or I mean, small pixels. I do believe this is ready to check in, this part. Oh, I need that. I need that. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, only PS4. Yeah. I know, right? There's too many. I bought games at Christmas I still haven't even played yet. I'm too busy. Yeah, it does look really awesome. Wait, what's Nio? So is it kind of like a Dark Souls game? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so the changes I made here, I made the fear boss a free Eid. And he, that, that way he can smoothly transition between these two areas. It's got a new scan sound. Locks the doors. I got a feeling I should change this area. That's you could be. Oh, okay. Destroy free Eid. Yeah, it destroys the Indy and then marks it as, de as destroyed in its home spawn area. Okay, it's ready to check in. Okay, the next step is to make all these little guys on the sides of the walls. Um, they're all going to be spawned rather than just... Uh, like predetermined enemies on the screen. Okay, and these are the, called the Seer H and Foes. There's only one place, I think, where they're used, right here, the Fear Boss. Okay, so the first thing is to get them off of being predetermined. The next thing is to make it the, so the draw or the 
the wall boss can spawn these guys. Jeez, I got a lot of files open. I'm just going to close all that. Okay, let's make another sequence where we can spawn. If count seer H is zero, oh yeah, shield zero. Spawn seer H. at like negative, I don't know, we'll figure out what the exact number is, but 60 sounds about right. Okay, let's see if that works. We can spawn guys now. Still gotta be something that kills them though or just doesn't save them. Okay, yeah, so it needs to go one, two, three more blocks to the left. Oh, that hurt the enemy. Cool, I like these guys. I forgot how cool they are. So three more blocks would be oh, 120. Okay, so the, the trick is if there is an enemy on the screen like that and we does he does push you into the next room, does it save that? Spawn guy. I hope it doesn't spawn save it because that'll, that'll solve two problems with one stone One line of code two problems with one line of code. Yes Okay, uh, there's something else here the Sears I think they have a delay at first Yeah, we don't need this anymore See if the wall will push this guy. Oh, he is sweet. The, I didn't know. I never noticed that, but the wall does push those guys. Okay. Now I gotta let him push me to the next room. Let's see if it saves that seer. Nice one. Another brick in the wall. Another brick in the wall. Nice. Okay, good. So we saved with just the fear boss. Wait, that's when it started. Creating area block. Areas, oh, no. Area 637 has nothing. That's when it started. So, yeah, just it, nice. It did not save that seer, so we can go back to the game 
and defeat the boss here. And go back into the other room and Yes, it worked. We've got this. Nice, this is all starting to come together. Um, I think the last thing I want to do with this right now is just make it so the music, when you go back into the other room, it's the after boss sound. Which means that, it actually it should already be doing that, so the, maybe it's not, yeah, that's probably what it is. It's not saving the bosses being defeated because it's not in a boss room, which is, I think it's, this is area, uh, like on the, when the area is complete, marks the boss is defeated. Let's look for that, boss defeated. Collision system, there it is. Okay, so we need another case where if hmm. Okay, we need to we need to know whether the entity is actually so this might work or it might not. Let's see if it does. Area flags. If we have flag before boss and we have the fear boss. So we need a breakpoint there, and we also need a breakpoint in destroy free Ian. See which one happens first. Okay, this time it's getting destroy any Eid first. Uh, I wish I knew what tick this was. Oh well, okay. Well, we go in to destroy any Eid. We'll set a breakpoint there. Good, okay, so this is getting hit first. So we should be able to say if it has name component find fear boss. Let's we'll see if that works. Nice. Oh, the indie's already still there. Sweet.
So that should return true, or yeah, the Eid. Which means it can flag the boss is defeated. Okay, so it didn't it didn't kick in the after boss music, so that should be something. But if I go into this next room, it should kick in. No, it didn't. What? The boss should have been flagged as defeated. Let's see if it did. Yeah, we got boss seven. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that worked. So for some reason, set ambience. Oh, we already had this ambience file name. Oh, we need to set the ambience again. Hmm, why do I do that? I said ambience file name equals. Ah, uh, this is it. This is on boss death. This is what I was just looking for. All right. Oh, here we go. So we need flag boss or before boss here that'll fade out the music in this room oh and destroy free Eid If it's the boss, you can go a dot clear, or just yeah. Well, clear ambience file name. What will that do? That just sets it to silent. Yeah, and then Yeah, it should allow it to set itself again. Okay, let's see if this all works. I guess I gotta take off my wizard hat. No! So I can listen. All right, so we should have the boss music fade out inside the before boss room. It should 
Mark the boss is defeated. We we'll go back in the other room, and we should also have the after boss music in both scenes. Oh no, what's this? Oh, some random breakpoint. Breakpoint on line one. Totally needed that. Nice, we've got the music fading out here. Okay, we could go back in the dungeon, but that would be a dumb idea. If we go... Oh, no! Ah, okay, one last thing. Rocket Bunny, what's up, man? You just played some football, right on. Howdy, dude, how you been? I'm really good, man. It's been an amazing week. Uh. Okay, I want to see those two breakpoints now. Do this again. Okay, we're setting ambience. Before boss, you're cooking tea. <laughs> you be <been> making tea. <laughs> Cropper, what's up, man? GDC was amazing. Guess I was there. I got a demo song ringer at several different events with the press, and um. Just, I was really humbled to be part of those events, man. It was really great. I got to be on this live stream. I dressed like a wizard. Um, I got to explore the whole expo. I got to see the, the award ceremony. It's really great. It's a great time. It's good to really connect with everybody in the industry, too, you know? See some people I haven't seen in a year. Okay, so we should hit a break point here in a second. There we go. Clear ambience file name. Let's make sure that works. I think I did see Rami. I saw him. He, I don't know him, so I didn't really introduce myself, but... Who's JW? Yeah, I was at the Strange Jam booth for, one, for a second there, checking out some of those games. 
there was a lot of cool things at GDC I never knew were there. There's like a sit down table games. Those were those look fun. There's also the retro gaming section where they had all these old school systems, like Commodore sixty four, old Nintendos and stuff. All right, so we're setting silence stereo. Okay, so when we go into this next room, the ambience file name should be Silent Stereo, so it should get through here. Oh, he works with Rami, all right. Oh, oh, yeah, I think I've seen a talk from him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy, right. Uh, I don't think I saw him. Uh-huh. Good, okay, it did that. But now we should get down to where it's choosing the boss. No, no. Here, what? No, not there. Here. And it's, bo oh, what's the boss status? Should be defeated, unknown. Oh, has the the boss status has not been set yet? No, it has. It has. How could the boss status? Oh, damn it! It should have set the boss status already. I wonder what happened here. Hmm. You have, how are you liking it? Okay, so we want that one. We also want set boss status. Okay, so we want that breakpoint there and the other breakpoint here. All right, we got this. You're making some simple apps? Nice. Yeah, it's definitely not as strict as C++, right? But it's got its own weird quirks you gotta watch out for. What the hell? Oh, this must be that bug, that new bug. Damn it. I'll get that fixed. Find that. Crush that bug. Okay. Oh, I know, the asynchronous part. Yeah, you gotta think totally differently. Okay, I don't need that one. Here we go, we're setting the, the boss status. We're at level Z7. Z7, area 637. Set boss status. Bosses, seven, defeated. 
Reset boss boss. It shouldn't matter. Okay, let's run that. All right. Oh, setting the ambience file name. And we're going to get the boss that is. This should be Z7 still. Okay, and world bosses. Why are there 11 bosses? Oh, yeah, I guess there are 11 bosses. Seven is totally defeated. Boss status defeated. Why did it say unknown last time? Nice. This time it works. Okay, so it's marking the, the boss is defeated twice. That's okay. It totally worked fine that time. Oh well. Well, that's good enough. So, yeah, that's it for today's stream. I got this all working. This is so cool. You can fight this boss in two different screens now. He pushes you down to the bottom screen here. You fight him, you fin finally finish fighting him here, and then you come back up here, you get your item and go through the, go through everything. All right, well, that's gonna be it for today's stream. Yeah, thanks guys. Nice. Thanks, Salad. Thanks for thanks for stopping by, Rocket Bunny. See you, everybody.